everyone, uh, my name's Max Coates, I live about five minutes from Croft in a little village called Scorton. Uh, I actually live in Leeds now for university, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm originally from five minutes from Croft and uh, that's kind of where I grew up. I've been racing Ginetta Juniors and Ginetta GT Super Cup around Croft for the last four years. Um, Pete's asked me to kind of do this little video here just to talk to you generally about um, what it's like to be a racing driver and how that how marshals can improve um, from kind of my perspective um, so sorry if I, I don't want to offend anyone um, maybe not quite the right thing to say but um, no you know hopefully what, what you can learn from this is maybe just how we see it and, and if that helps to improve how, how you go about marshalling then brilliant and if it doesn't then so be it um, anyway what I'm going to do is kind of run you through a couple of race laps um, from Croft last year just kind of shows where we're looking, what we're looking at um, where we're concentrating obviously there's a, there's a lot for a driver to take in as well as flag signals and that's the most important thing that we're looking at obviously um, but it maybe isn't sometimes. Um, so the next couple of laps are going to time to take you through what we see from a driver's perspective, how that looks, where we're looking, what's going on, and then hopefully from that you can kind of see what we're doing. So now we're going to open up the video and go from there. Welcome aboard the Ginetta G55, we're sat on the grid here at Croft. Just going to lift the revs here before we go for the start. We're looking up towards the, the lights gantry here. Now that's all we're really focused on at the start. Absolutely terrible, nearly stalled the car, which is not good. So we've lost one place, and we're going to lose another one and another one as the car comes around the outside. Uh, so, yeah, pretty awful start. Into turn one, following these cars through nicely. Through the little kink of a chicane, trying to keep it tight so that we don't lose a place and also try and get up the inside. Shifting up to third there, up to fourth before we go through the chicane. Onto the fastest part, possibly one of the fastest parts of the circuit. Up to fifth gear. And we're going to defend it on the inside here. If you look in the uh, driver's mirror, you'll see a yellow car up here. Now, gives us a little bit of attack. Uh, so yeah, that's where we'll concentrate our, our focus on the uh, on things as we go through that turn. Out into the back of the track, about 130 mile an hour through the Stuart S's, absolutely flat out and flat through Barcroft. Down two gears, turning in nice and early using the camber. Run out wide, a little bit too wide in fact. Back to the inside. And we're coming into the last, last chicane complex. Really late on the brakes, closing on corner speed, and then again closing on the brakes into there. Trying a different line, the car in front's going to go over to the right hand side. We're going to go straight up the inside into the last corner. Thanks very much. As you can see, struggling a little bit for traction on the exit. We're out and up the gears. So, over the next lap, I'm going to show you just what we see and where the marshals post are. We had one as we cross the line another at the end of pit lane and another just as we turn into turn one. We then have another on the left hand side before we go through the chicane, one off to the left hand side there for cars that have pulled off, another marshal post before we go through the chicane and then another one on the apex. We then have another marshal post on the right hand side here as we go down the straight flagging for tower bend, uh, over to the inside to defend and we have another marshal post on the left hand side, kind of apex point of the corner. We then have another marshal's post just as we exit, and then the next one is going to be at the uh, turn in for the Stuart S's. So we're going through here, a bit of understeer now as we're behind a car in front. Uh, maybe a couple of wheels off there, might be an infringement from next year. Uh, sunny in, sunny out. Uh, going through there, we had a marshal's post on the way in, and another one there, which kind of just um, blinds your view really going through sunny. Um, probably not most appropriately placed in a marshal post. One to the right hand side as we go into the left hander of the chicane, another one on the outside of the uh, track there and then the marshal's post on the inside. We've got to go for the move and it's not quite going to work. So there we are, out and across the line. So that's two laps of the uh, Croft circuit here at uh, Croft. 
going to let you run through this next lap so that you can see exactly what we see. So good, keep a lookout for the marshals posters. Such like. enjoyed that video uh, Pete has actually asked me to just do a little bit more actually and give you a couple of times when marshals have either been really great and helped me or or perhaps when decisions haven't quite gone my way um, so I start with you know kind of I suppose not not, not the greatest experiences of with marshals um, and I've got to be honest, I've only really got one. Um, it all got resolved pretty quickly anyway. Um, the marshal's report from an incident uh, read wrong, basically. Um, the marshal got the numbers mixed up on the cars, which I can completely understand. Um, it's very easy to get it wrong and you know, get the different, somebody else's numbers mixed up. Um, but the, the incident report basically said, that I knocked someone off rather than them knocking me off um, and and naturally that that causes a couple of little issues so yeah we got that sorted out pretty quickly um, the other guy was you know good enough to be able to say yeah that, that was that was the other way around which is what I'd also said to the clerk of the course um, but also the you know the, the onboard judicial footage showed that um, some of the things that I think I've, I've picked up um, from dealings with marshals um, is that when when a car comes off, you sat in the gravel trap or whatever, and we, you know it, it comes to the time when we need to remove the car. Um, and I have to say, Croft are very very good at this. I know I know the marshalling team that do you know picking up cars and things, they're absolutely spot on. Um, but at other places. You know, there's there's been incidents where there's in the clear up of the process of the of the crash site, there's been a lot of damage to the car from uh, maybe a marshal, maybe the driver, but someone putting you know tow um, the towing rope rope through at the wrong point or attaching it or pushing on things or you know so for example on the on the Ginettas the tow hoop goes through the um, through through part of a through the front bumper and then it's attached to the uh, crash structure which is then attached to the rest of the chassis now if you've had a front end crash that might not be there but if you if it is there and there's some damage to it pulling on that tow rope can sometimes cause more damage if the crash structure behind the bonnet's damaged now I appreciate that not all the time you have the time on the hand to be able to work that all out uh, but basically I suppose what I'm saying is, is where possible analyze the situation and, and work out if we put this on there and pull it or push it is it going to fall off um, or cause more damage than it is the the, the other thing with the Ginettas is that the way the front the bumper works is it works like a scoop so if you imagine that's your front bumper there and then you've got the gravel 
but when you pull the car backwards all the gravel goes into there and weighs the bumper down so it then pulls the bumper off which you know causes a load of issues um, from bumper on a Ginetta Junior is 1200 quid so <laughs> you, know, you can see the financial implications for the driver when it when it goes wrong um, but I have to say my experience in Marshalls and especially the Marshalls at Croft has been absolutely brilliant um, I think of many times well, you know, I, I include a lot of you as friends um, and you know, I remember a time in 2012 um, when we were at the at Croft for the Genetta GT Super Cup and had a bump with another car uh, he'd driven into the back of me and had lost part of the back bumper uh, which span off and went into a field um, but we couldn't find it and the, you know, the bumper to replace was 300 quid basically if we didn't get the bit of the bumper back then we couldn't afford to go out in the last race uh, I think three of the marshals gave up the lunch break to go and find that bit of rear bumper you know you can't say better than that so you know I'm forever grateful to the marshals for everything that you've ever done for me um, and that's why you know I'm very happy to be of, uh, being able to put this video together for you today um, so you know thanks very much you know I've also had a couple of opportunities through marshals um, that have told me about things that are going on you know a lot of you know uh, know about things um, I've also uh, been able to do a bit of work with the BMMC uh, been and done um, some kind of after dinner speaking if you like for them and I've also been to their martial training days over the last two years so I've you know I've learned how to put out the fires and things like that um, so yeah you know thanks for everything that you do and uh, it's it's just all a big thumbs up for me so that's the video I hope you've enjoyed it um, I hope I think the bit of on board is probably the most exciting um, I hope that I've not offended anybody um, for any of the kind of the criticisms uh, throughout this video but thanks very much for watching and um, I suppose I've just got one final little request is that when these MSA regulations change please don't um, flag me up for four wheels off the track that's that's kind of my side of the bargain for doing this video so give me that and it'll all be good anyway thanks for watching and i hope it's um been good cheers